Let us continue with our lesson and in this lesson let's go and discuss about the option that we previously said enable which was uh, enable, service enable and also a service exported. So let's go to our manifest over here and we have set the enable to true and also exported to true. So what this actually these two function means or what this our parameter actually does for us. So basically this enable option is uh, set it to true by default and which means that this service is enabled and it can be instantiated. So it can be instantiated which means that service is enabled. And if we set it to false which means that service is disabled and it cannot be instantiated. And by on the simple way which means that service is enabled or disabled. And we have a next option which is uh, exported. Exported basically means that uh, if we set it to true, then that means that other application can also interact with our service and evoke this service. But if we set it to false, that means that this service is only for our this application and no other external application can evoke or evoke this our uh, service. So in a simple way, which means that exported true means that other application can interact with our service and whereas if we set it to false that means other application cannot interact with our service and it which means that it's not exposed outside of our current application and so uh, the next thing that we have to do is uh, there are a lot of other options that we can set on our service so I would like you guys to go to the Android documentation site. There is they have mentioned a lot of detail about the service option that we can set it. And that's uh, I would like you guys to give a homework. Just go and research on it. What are the other default options and what are the options available for our service? So uh, and this service tag over here is basically created when we create our this service. So if it is not there then we need to create it manually but as we create it through a service when we create it through a new service over here it automatically added for us but if it's not there and then we need to add it manually because if we don't have this tag over here that means that service is not going to work so make sure you have this tag over here in our man manifest and if it is not there you need to add it manually so I hope you have some uh, basic understanding over here. What are these options enabled and exported? And your homework is just to go and research about what are, what are the other options that we can enable or disable for our service. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.